requesting $932 million worth of pork barrel spending project. So the point is, I want people to have tax cuts. I want every family to have a $5,000 refundable tax credit so they can go out and purchase their own health care. Yeah. I want to double the dividend from $3,500 to $7,000 for every dependent child in America. I know that the worst thing we could possibly do is to raise taxes on anybody, and a lot of people might be interested in Senator Obama's definition of rich. Senator Obama, you have a question for Senator McCain well, on that? Well, let me just make a couple All of points. Right. My definition, here's what I can tell the American people. 95% of you will get a tax cut. And if you make less than $250,000, less than a quarter million dollars a year, then you will not see one dime's worth of tax increase. Now, John mentioned the fact that business taxes uh, on paper are high in this country, and he's absolutely right. Here's the problem. There are so many loopholes that have been written into the tax code, oftentimes with support of Senator McCain, that we actually see our businesses pay effectively one of the lowest tax rates in the world. And what that means then is that there are people out there who are working every day, who are not getting a tax cut, and you want to give them more. It's not like you want to close the loopholes. You just want to add an additional tax cut over the loopholes, and that's a problem. Just one last point I want to make. Sen Senator McCain talked about uh, providing a $5,000 health uh, credit. Right. Now, what he doesn't tell you is that he intends to, for the first time in history, tax health benefits. So you may end up getting a $5,000 tax credit. Here's the only problem. Your employer now has to pay taxes on the health care that you're getting from your employer. And if you end up losing your health care from your employer, you've got to go out on the open market and try to buy it. It is not a good deal for the American people, but it's an example of this notion that the market can always solve everything and that the less regulation we have, the better off we're going to be. Well, I, you know, let, let me just... Uh, We've got to go to another is, lead, but... I, I know we have to, but... This is a classic example of walking the walk and talking the talk. We had an energy bill before the United States Senate. It was festooned with Christmas tree ornaments. It had all kinds of breaks for the oil companies. I mean, billions of dollars worth. I voted against it. Senator Obama voted for it. John, you so want to give oil you've companies look at our record. Billion. You've got to look at our records. That's the important thing. Who fought against wasteful and, and earmarked spending? Who has been the person who has tried to keep spending under control, who is the person who has believed that the best thing for America is, is to have a tax system that is fundamentally fair, and I've fought to simplify it, and I have proposals to simplify it. Let's give every American a choice. Two tax brackets, generous dividends, and, uh, and, two, and let Americans choose whether they want the, the existing tax code or they want a new tax code. And so... Uh, again, look at the record, particularly the energy bill. But again, um, Cap Senator Obama has right. shifted on a number of occasions. He has voted in the United States Senate to increase taxes on people who make as low as $42,000 a true, year. That's and that's true. just a fact. Again, you can look it up. Uh, it, look, it's just not true. And, and if we want to talk about oil company uh, profits under your tax plan, John, this is undeniable oil companies would get an additional $4 billion in tax breaks. Now, uh, look, we all would love to... to